Hi, this is Allison Waken for Studio Calico sharing a start to finish layout using the Walden Project Life kits and some add-ons from November 2014. Um, I'm starting with a 12 inch gray cardstock and just a layer of gesso using like a cheap um, rough brush just for some depth and interest to the background as opposed to maybe a mist or a watercolor. I love having the 4 by 6 inch papers each month because it makes it really easy to um, add the layers that I love so much to a traditional layout. Uh, you can also use the 4 by 6 inch cards that you might have left over from the Project Life kits. Um, I tend to not have a ton of those left over so I usually use the paper more when I'm making layouts using those kits. I'm using this November um, card from the main kit for kind of the title of this page since November in Phoenix is when we get to start going outside a lot of the time um, where this photo was taken outside with my son. Um, so I kind of make a base of layers um, with the photo and then I'll attach them all together so that they stay together as I'm playing with embellishments or maybe sewing and stamping whatever I want to add on to the page but that keeps that base layers keeps those base layers together uh, while I'm playing around with the page so I mentioned before that I have bits and pieces of the kits I like to pull out just a few things to work with uh, when I'm making a layout it tends to help me be a little more creative um, when I have just a ton of embellishments out in front of me there's a lot of times that I'm just overwhelmed I don't know what to do with it so I like to just take out little bits and pieces uh, makes it so much easier to play with and then later I can go back and maybe add things if the layout's not quite right so you'll see me play around with pieces here quite a bit and as I look at the stamps or look out the, the pieces that I have out I, I may change my mind as I go along so I decided to stamp those arrows there uh, and move the veneer arrow up to the top that just happens when I'm making the layout and I like kind of that freedom to move things around that's why I attach those base pieces together and then play with the embellishments on top that little adventure uh, circle there I had made as an extra when I made my Project Life um, layout for the gallery this month and I just threw it back in with my supplies and found it in there when I was pulling stuff out and it worked perfectly here but it's just the digital stamp that I had printed out on white cardstock and then punched out with a two inch circle punch. So now um, I'm just adding my title with some uh, letter stickers uh, I usually don't plan out ahead of time where um, the stickers or the embellishments are going to go. As you can see, I just play with them a lot and move them a lot before I actually commit to adhering them to the page. So here I was happy with the layout and I'm going to go ahead and adhere everything with glue or staples, whatever works the best depending on um, what piece I'm, I'm adhering. Uh, I also will sometimes sew on top of the page. I'm not doing that on this particular page. But um, so once I am done with attaching all of the elements, I'll kind of look back, see if I want to add anything else. Uh, a lot of times I will add a few stamps at the end or maybe just a little bit of journaling. If I don't add journaling, I'll usually um, just mark on the back the date if I didn't put it on the front. That is it for this layout. Really quick and really simple. I think the longest part was just the gesso drying and of course me making up my mind with where the embellishments were going to go. Uh, I hope this inspired you to create a traditional layout with your um, Project Life kits and add-ons. As always, visit studiocalico.com for more inspiration and feel free to ask any questions here on the Studio Calico blog and I will make sure to check in and answer any you may have.